Dear viewers, Assalamu alaikum. Today we will discuss the tutorial of Gaussian or Gauss view. In this tutorial video, we will discuss different parameters of the Gaussian and we will also discuss that how we can build our file or the structure in Gaussian and then we can run our file for different calculations like DFT studies and other calculations which are used in theoretical chemistry or computational chemistry. So here is our Gaussian file. So this file is actually tells us when our job is running. So it tells us the status of our job and uh, we will we will see that it tells us the status and the output file and we have these options are the buttons which can be used to start or to stop our processing which is running in Gaussian. The second is our Gauss view. So today we are going to focus our Gauss view. So Gauss view is actually used to build up different structures or to make our file in a .log file or chk file or check file we said. So in this way uh, we can build our structure. So today we will discuss that how we can build our structure. So here we can create a new molecular window and by using this button I will show you that it has different option that we can open. We uh, already saved file or we can also open recent files and we can save image file and in edit option we have different options like delete, copy, paste or image capture or atoms or groups and in view uh, we have to uh, we can see that here we have dummies, hydrogens or we can symbol like here and uh, we can also use builder so here we have this uh, builder we can choose um, the option or the button that we need from this builder and uh, all these uh, builder options are also available in this uh, file here in this tab button so we have all these options here we have some other options like here we can label our uh, structure and uh, we can uh, also use the Cartesian axis stereochemistry and positioning tools then we can calculate our calculations like Gaussian calculation setup and then we will run our file and here we will get our results. So first of all uh, we look at here so we have different options like here we have uh, carbon with tetrahedral geometry and uh, then we can uh, make this file like here now when we click on here so we get that this is our file and uh, we are going to make it in a center so now it is centered and this is we are going to undo the second one which is pasted here so this is our file actually and uh, we can also select different options we have like from here uh, we can use like if we are going to use iron so it will give us like this so this is the geometry of uh, iron which is octahedral and uh, iron is octahedral so and we can also check that silicon we can also check aluminium so aluminium is trigonal planar geometry it shows so so from here we will select our file or we can only select and a single atom so here we have a single atom option from here and uh, like here we have calcium okay linear geometry and then we can select some other like tantalum so it has this type of octahedral geometry because of their uh, metal and uh, nickel 
we can also uh, choose the geometry according to our own like here we have selected nickel as trigonal by pyramidal and uh, also we have other options like here so here we uh, selected that here this is our nickel so this one was the previous one uh, we selected and uh, we can also use these buttons to uh, remove or we can also use to clean these files so from here we can uh, remove these atoms so now we have this selected uh, nickel with uh, all other atoms so we can uh, replace these atoms also like here it is click on here so we can add by this we have added this hydrogen atom like here we can also add like here so we have added this hydrogen we are going to remove this blue one so we are using this one this tool and this tool is used like here so now we are going to add this bond again so here we will select and then it we, we only by clicking here the hydrogen will be added so in this way and uh, we have some other options like here we have this benzene ring or we have uh, all other uh, different cyclic compounds we can use here we can use c60 which is carbon 60 uh, buckyball and uh, we have uh, more options like here with different functional groups or different uh, rings cyclic structures and uh, also we have different functional groups like here so we can select different functional groups from here like here we are going to select phosphorus and uh, all these are also shown here like here it is it is given here that is representing the functional group and the other one is here which is representing that we can also select amino acids or nucleotides so in the, here we have the option of different fragments now this fragment is attached with with this phosphate group or this uh, structure so from here we can select that if we are going to add amino acid so here we have glutamine amino acid and uh, now i am going to add another amino acid with glycine or we are going to use leucine or we are going to use methionine so here uh, we have different options we can select and we can build our fragment with amino terminal or carboxy terminal and then we can select our fragments similarly we have an option of uh, nucleotides or other so here we are going to select nucleotides like adenosine now adenosine is attached with this amino acid residue so in this way we have selected this one and now i am going to now i am going to make it here like here i am going to show it in molecule group So these are different uh, windows we have already opened so I'm going to close these windows and file new so here now this is our window that is showing that this this is our nucleotide that is attached with our 
uh, amino acid residue adenosine is attached with amino acid residues now we are going to show you different options available here like here it is our adenosine so this is our another option like here we have to make a bond so we we can select two different atoms and we can uh, make a single bond or double bond between these atoms like here we are going to make a single bond so it has been a single bond and or we can make a double bond between two atoms so in this way we can uh, modify it. or we can change the angle between two bonded atoms like here I am going to show you that I am going to change the uh, bond angle between these two So from here we can change okay one two and three so now we will change this uh, bond angle so in this way we are going to change like here if you look at here so this is going to change so we we can rotate group atom one or two so we can rotate atom from here in this way so we can uh, adjust according to our own also and uh, here we have an option to clean our geometry so this this button actually cleans this geometry and this modifies diagonal angle and uh, this is for removal of the bond and this is invert about atom from this atom to this atom we can invert we can invert these atoms like here okay and uh, so we have this option to uh, centralize our geometry and uh, we have an option to select an atom and we uh, have an option to select uh, by selecting this window so we have an option to select the atoms uh, which are uh, which can be <coughs> selected by taking a cursor so in this way we can select all atoms or we can deselect all atoms so this is for select all atoms and this is for deselect all atoms and this is for uh, different uh, conformation or stereo And this button is used to uh, rebond so in this way we have different options you observe that we can use and uh, to make our file and then we can save this file and then uh, we can uh, calculate or we can use DFT studies or different calculations so all these uh, are also available in this tab and then we have other options like clean geometry or these options and then we have this uh, to centralize or we can add another file so this is another file and we can also uh, use uh, this option to modify the display and uh, so this is used to smooth spotlight and molecule or general so ball and bond type can be used or we can use tube like here or we can select ball and stick models or we can use wireframe so all these are mentioned so we can uh, use like this ball and stick model or we can uh, use this general show hydrogens and so background color we can change we can uh, it make it more smoother or someone so it is like here so in this way we can change and also we can uh, label or so from here we can label atoms so now it is labeled so all these atoms are now uh, they these are labeled and numbered so we can uh, from here remove dummies and uh, so 
so we can use symbols okay now the symbols are also available like 14 carbon 15 nitrogen 13 nitrogen so now it is labeled and so we are going to remove symbol now now it is only uh, labeled with symbol and the uh, numbers are have been uh, removed from this one so in this way we can build our structure so today our tutorial focused on uh, how we can uh, build a geometry or a structure in uh, gas view so in our next videos we will discuss that how we can uh, arrange uh, these uh, different files and then how we can uh, run our uh, different calculations like dft studies and so on so thanks for watching my video allah Hafiz.